सेल रेफरेंसिंग लेट्स टॉक अबाउट सेल रेफरेंसिंग समटाइम्स वाइल राइटिंग अ फॉर्मूला वी सेलेक्ट अ रेंज ऑफ सेल एड्रेसेज द सेल रेफरेंसिंग रेफर्स टू द रेंज ऑफ सेल एड्रेसेज विच वी यूज वाइल राइटिंग फॉर्मूला लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस बाय एन एग्जाम्पल दैट इज we have the following values c1 is equal to 1 c2 is equal to 2 c3 is equal to 3 c4 is equal to 4 c5 is equal to 5 c6 is equal to 6 c7 is equal to 7 c8 is equal to 8 c9 is equal to 9 C10 is equal to 10 and A1 is equal to 2 Now type formula in cell E5 is equal to sum C1 is to C10 into 100 plus A1 Let's understand the terms used in this formula In the above formula we have selected c1 is to c10 which is a range of cell addresses sum is the name of the function a1 is the cell reference of a single cell multiply plus are the mathematical operators there are three types of cell referencing relative referencing In relative referencing whenever we copy a formula from one cell to another cell the value of the formula always changes with reference to the new cell Relative referencing is very useful when we need to repeat the same calculation across multiple rows or columns Let's understand it with the same example We enter 10 in cell B1. We enter 20 in cell B2. Write formula in cell B3 as is equal to B1 plus B2 and 30 will appear in cell B3. Now enter 30 in cell D1. Enter forty in cell D two. Now, if we will copy the formula of cell B three in cell D three, it automatically changes to is equal to D one plus D two. Cell D three changes the value according to cell D one and D two with relation to cell D three. Finally. we received output as 70 in cell d3 similarly if we will copy the formula of cell b3 in cell e3 and it automatically changes to is equal to e1 plus e2 cell e3 changes the value according to cell e1 and e2 with relation to cell e3 absolute referencing absolute referencing is needed when we do not want the formula to change when copied from one cell to another absolute referencing is done by using dollar sign let's understand it with an example enter 10 in cell b1 enter 20 in cell b2 now we write is equal to dollar b dollar 1 plus dollar b dollar 2 it will display the sum of cells b1 and b2 now enter 30 in cell d1 enter 40 in cell d2 now If we copy the same formula 
of cell B3 in cell D3. It will display some of cells B1 and B2 instead of cells D1 and D2. The value of the formula does not change because of absolute referencing. Similarly, if the same formula is copied at cell F10, it will still display sum of cells B1 and B2 instead of is equal to F8 plus F9. Mixed referencing Sometimes to write a formula, we use both relative and absolute referencing. This is called mixed referencing. Let's understand it with an example. Enter 10 in cell B1. Enter 20 in cell B2. In cell B3, we will type is equal to $B1 plus B$2. This will fix the column as B in B1 and row 2 in B2. Now enter 30 in cell D1 and 40 in cell D2. Now, if we copy the same formula of cell B3 in cell D3, it will be copied as $B1 plus D$2. Here, the output is 50 in cell D3, which is the sum of B1 and D2, that is 10 and 40. Similarly, if the same formula is copied at cell F10, it will copy formula as is equal to $B8 plus F$2. It is because column B in B1 will be fixed and 1 is relative to 10. So, it will become 8. Similarly, B in B$2 will change to F$2 because B will relatively change to F10 and $2 will be fixed.